exhibition here is a structure within which you can perform a play. At some level it's really simple, it's just a setting. It's a, it's a kind of environment where it might be possible to perform something. And the original idea was that this um, would be a play that could kind of explain everything. That somehow I could explain all the relationships of the last 20 years in this space. And the, the, the structure of the, the room is really derived from the kind of acoustic panels that you find in recording studios for classical music. And this was a zone that was kind of taken over in the late 60s by musicians who didn't want to use it in order to get the acoustic properties, but they wanted to use those spaces because you could hide from each other. The Mick Jagger could hide from the drummer, but there was a big space you could hang out. So, um, this exhibition I decided to, that, that it, the, the best way to do that would be to try and force myself back into the position I was in in the early 90s, where I'd be thrust together with a group of people, I'd have to improvise, I'd have to come up with a, a way of describing a social structure. That this would be the element of the retrospective that goes forwards, not backwards. Like, well then who is in the play? Originally the idea would be everyone's in the play. From Maria Lynn to Stefan Kalmar to Barbara Steiner, Wolfgang, uh, Angela Bullock, um, uh, Stefan Dilmuth. There would be all these certain figures, and all these conflicting rhetorics and conflicting desires. The characters are, uh, are really abstract characters and they often represent gender misunderstandings. The women have men's names, the men have women's names. People have nicknames that are not nicknames like Robert, that's not a nickname. Um, there's Humla who represents a kind of Scandinavian, tough, hardcore woman car worker. In the end they become, it's, it's, it's old theatre in a way, they become unique people in themselves. They no longer represent anyone in the art context. 